mushrooms are grown on sterilized substrates, and once a contaminant gets a foothold, it flourishes in the absence of competition from other contaminants. In nature, complex interactions among hundreds of other fungi, bacteria, nematodes, etc. maintain an ecological equilibrium. In a sterilized medium, the grower provides ideal conditions for the contaminant to prosper. In sawdust bags, contamination usually involves another fungus living off the waste products or on the remains of the cultivated fungus, or sometimes on the living mycelium or fruiting body of the cultivated fungus. The only competition for these contaminants is the cultivated fungus itself. The most common type of mushroom contamination. Wet spot. Sour rot bacillus sp. In grain spawn jars, one commonly encounters bacillus, which sometimes survives the sterilization process as heat-resistant endospores. A dull gray to mucus-like brownish lime, characterized by a strong but foul odor, variously described as smelling like rotting apples, dirty socks or burnt bacon. Bacillus makes uncolonized grain appear excessively wet, hence the name wet spot. Pallid to whitish ridges along the margins of individual grain kernels, characterize this contaminant. Bacillus primarily reproduces through simple cell division. In times of adverse environmental conditions, especially heat, a single hardened spore forms within each parent cell body bacterial endospores, which can survive high temperatures for prolonged time. Dye most practical method for eliminating bacterial endospores involves soaking the grain at room temperature 12 to 24 hours prior to sterilization. Endospores, if viable, will germinate within that time frame and then be susceptible to standard sterilization procedures. New endospores won't form in the moist environment of the resting jar of grain. Bacterial blotch, Pseudomonas tulaceae, P. fluorescens. Yellow to brown lesions form on mushrooms. Typically, spotting occurs at or near the edge of mushroom caps. Blotch occurs when mushrooms remain wet for a period of four to six hours or longer after water has been applied. The bacterium is spread in airborne soil particles. Controls include lowering humidity and watering with a 150 ppm chlorine solution. Calcium hypochlorite products are used, since sodium hypochlorite products may burn caps. If the mushroom stays wet, however, chlorine has little effect since the bacterial population reproduces at a rate that neutralizes the effect of the oxidizing agent. Shiitake caps are affected by a bacterial disease caused by Pseudomonas gladioli, Burkholderia gladioli. Sanitation is a critical component of control measures. Cobweb mold or Dactylium mildew, Hypomyces sp. Ocotony mycelium grows over casing. When it contacts a mushroom, the mycelium soon envelopes the mushroom with a soft mildewy mycelium and causes a soft rot. It is also a parasite of wild mushrooms. Cobweb mold is darker than mycelium almost gray as compared to white. The difference in color is sometimes hard to tell for somebody that hasn't seen them side by side before. Cobweb has several other indicators the one that sticks out is the speed of growth. A small patch the size of a dime will spread to cover an entire jar or casing in just a day or two. Cobweb is also very very fine strands, while mycelium tends to be thicker, ropes.cob web mold is favored by high humidity. Control strategies include lowering humidity and increasing air circulation. Green mold. Trichoderma harzionum, T. viride, T. caningi. Green mold caused by Trichoderma harzionum is characterized by an aggressive white mycelium that grows over the casing and onto mushrooms, causing a soft decay. Masses of spores that eventually form are emerald green. Heavily infested patches of compost are barren. This is currently the most important disease in the U.S. agaricus industry. Many farms spread salt on the compost in affected areas. Cinnamon brown mold, Chromelosporium falva, Pizzizza strachyderma. The color of this mold ranges from yellow gold to golden brown to cinnamon brown. It grows rapidly in circular patches. It is very common in soil and flourishes on damp wood. Areas in compost overheated during spawn run may be colonized. Improperly conditioned compost will also support growth, but it is most commonly known as a recolonizer of overly pasteurized casing, possibly living on dead microorganisms. It often occurs on sterilized soil. Sexual fruiting bodies may appear several weeks after the first appearance of the mold. This spores are airborne. Lipstick mold, Sporendonema purpurescens, Geotrichum candidium. This fungus colonizes composter casing. As spores mature, the color of the mold changes from white to pink, to cherry red, and finally to dull orange. It is slow growing. Spores spread in air, during watering, and on pickers. The lipstick mold utilizes certain fats in the compost. It is an uncommon problem. Control is centered around sanitation.